Hi everyone and welcome to a random, another random video. <laughs> it's probably going to end up being a vlog, but right now it's Tuesday night. There's not going to be anything to vlog tonight except for the fact that Read You 2 is back. <laughs> so happy. Welcome home. He's been out for three weeks between being on his way to the shop, being in the shop, coming back from the shop. <laughs> He's back. So far, so great. I'm really looking forward to using him to record videos for you guys, for everything else I've used him for. Welcome home, read you two. Old faithful, tried and true, beloved Braille sense you two. The beauty of working with Reed is I can actually have some clue about how long the files are. If I wanted to, I could go to each one of these files as I created them and calculate, okay, this is 30 seconds, this is a minute, this is six minutes, this is, like, I have some clue before we get to an hour's worth of stuff that I've got to edit. If I want to, I can look at the time as it's happening. That's harder with the other things that I was using. You know, a little while ago I was going on about Welcome home, Read You 2. I love you. I missed you. I'm so glad that I've got you after three weeks a month. And if you haven't listened to a previous video, you have no idea what in the world I was talking about. <laughs> um, I am kind of a tech geek, tech nerd. Tech, I love my tech maybe too much. I actually name them. <laughs> often after the voice that, that their synthesizer is in. Read U2 is what I have named my Braille Sense U2. What is a Braille Sense U2? For those of you who, your idea of having electronics on the go is having an iPhone or an iPad or a, a Google tablet or a Google smartphone. A Braille Sense U2 is an older model, blindness specific little computerized device. It's a word processor, it's a media recorder. Those are the main things I use it for. And I do use it for email sometimes. Uh, not very often though. I mean, I use it to read email more than I use it to write email. I could write an email and send it out on this thing, but I don't very often. A lot of times if I want to write an email, I'll do it on my computer. But the point is, this is my favorite little device to use. And he's been out getting repairs. The good news is, his repairs were so minor this time, I was actually able to handle the bill for it. A lot of times I'll wait. This is the first time I think that I've sent him in with such minor issues that I could fix it with the amount of money that I had in my account. Most of the time I would deal with things that weren't working optimally until he finally just had a situation that either I just was tired of putting up with the little stuff, but really when you dug deeper you found some bigger problems or he finally just crashed on me or or had a situation that I just could not work around could not live with and I finally sent him in for about twenty three hundred dollars worth of repairs yeah that's hard to come by for a person who's on a limited income and whether I've ever wanted to acknowledge it or not I've spent a lot of my life on a limited income but that's another story for a different video if I ever go there the point is it felt good to send him in, get him fixed for an amount of money that I actually had in my account and now have him home. And he's working great and he's going to keep working great, even as a YouTube camera. Something I haven't had him be until recently. You know, this vlog is going to be <laughs> over who knows how many days because days go by and I don't record a single thing for this video. And now I've got to go. This is more than just the camera. This is like everything. And I just had something on this little mini computer basically is what it is. Braille sends you to and I accidentally closed it out. Now I've got to find it and Hope I saved everything. No, I didn't save everything. Um, shoot, now I gotta rewrite that. Um, between Tuesday and Friday now, it's Friday afternoon, 
about an hour, a little less than an hour, before my care attendant comes. And this is all I've recorded. <laughs> And I'm reading our list of places to go. Actually, I think it's all... It's all there. I'll just put this down here instead of where it was. Well, no, I need to have it... Up here close to the top, closer to the top or I'll never look at it. Oh, it's too late to do that. Now save. That was what it sounds like to be recording on the same computer that you're writing on. <laughs> Might not be the greatest sounding thing, but in this case it's what we got. And it's probably just going to be what we have because even though most computers like are big and not the best recorders in the world and you don't want to use that as a vlogging camera. For me, this ends up being the easiest thing because these Olympus recorders have USB drives or USB uh, USB things built right into them. You could stick them into your computer, but as soon as you stick them into the computer, the connection doesn't, I mean, the connection doesn't last. It's supposed to, but it doesn't. It, it doesn't seem to. And if the connection's not going to last long enough to keep... Have I said this already in a previous video? If the connection's not going to last long enough to transfer files, then that's not the right way to do it. <laughs> or that's not a productive way to do it. So I figure I record everything else on the Braille Sense. Now that the Braille Sense is back, might as well use it for a vlogging camera. And it's so much easier to do it that way too because I know right where the recordings go. All I've got to do is give them a different name, move them to a different folder, and then put a USB drive in that does hold a connection, and move that folder onto the USB drive, and then take it to my editing software and edit it together. So that's how I'm going to be doing it. And it's nowhere near as big as a laptop because it doesn't have an actual screen screen. It has a braille display that's right next to the microphone so as I run my hand across it you're hearing this awful noise <laughs> but um, yeah that's what it has so it's really quite small I'm not quite sure what to compare it to that most people would understand but it's it's pretty small and it's pretty easy to carry around and it's way easier to carry around than a laptop, and that's how I'm going to be recording my videos from here on out. Or at least, uh, yeah, I'm going to say from here on out, and if I decide to change that, well, then someday I'll decide to change that, but not right now. So I think the ultimate question here is, by the time I've recorded enough to actually make a video or a vlog, what will it be about? Will it be a vlog? What... <laughs> If so, how many days will have passed between the time it started and the time I actually decided to vlog a day for real? We're just going to have to see what happens when I finally decide to do. Well, I just finally had to do it. Well, I haven't done it quite yet. I am about to send it. Try to comment. Text field. This YouTuber, you know, her family dynamic has changed. Her life has changed. I totally support her. What I don't support or appreciate is when she and people like her create videos, whether it's on YouTube or posted to Facebook or whatever. 
that are completely useless to someone like me. And it just happened one too many times and I just finally had to... I had to say something. I'm about to send this comment. I hope I don't get backlash over it, but I just... I'm going to have my voiceover read it in a minute in case you don't understand. Basically, I just am saying, you know, I'm happy for you. They said, we did it. And then I watched the video and it's just music and probably a picture. And I'm basically saying, you know, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. I'd be even happier for you if I could tell what it was that I was saying congratulations about. I'm blind and I can't tell from that video. Please, in the future, actually talk to us in your videos. Write a comment. Text field. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I would be even happier for you if I could tell what I was congratulating you for. Though, I don't want to rain on your parade, but I have to make this comment this time. I am blind. And a video like this, where no one speaks a single word to state what the video is about, or what you're trying to relay in the video, is really not helpful to me. What is it that we are celebrating? Whatever it is, it was an achievement that you worked hard to accomplish, and I'm proud of you. I hope you will at least comment and let me know what it is that just happened. And in future videos of this nature, I hope you will say something somewhere in the course of the video so that those of us who are listening with our ear eyes can be as happy for you as those watching with their eye eyes. Ear with medium dark skin tone, face with heart shaped eyes, ear with medium dark skin tone, hashtag blind audience, hashtag differently abled. I love you, but you cannot expect me to understand a video like that. And I know I'm not the only blind person who watches you. I know for every one of us, there's six million of us that aren't blind, but still. Sometimes you just gotta say what you need. Post. Button. Post. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I would be even happier for you if I could tell what I was congratulating you for, though. I don't want to rain on your parade, but I have to make this comment this time. I am blind, and a video like this, where no one speaks a single word to state what the video is about, or what you're trying to relay in the video, is really not helpful to me. What is it that we are celebrating? Whatever it is, it was an achievement that you worked hard to accomplish, and I'm proud of you. I hope you will at least comment and let me know what it is that just happened, and in future videos of this nature, I hope you will say something somewhere in the course of the video so that those of us who are listening with our eyes can be as happy for you as those watching with their eyes. You're with medium dark skin tone, face with heart-shaped eyes, you're with medium dark skin tone, hashtag blind audience, hashtag differently able. I hope that isn't taken badly, but I just can't let that go unsaid. Especially if they intend to relay more things in that same way. If you want to put music and a picture behind it, fine, but say something! Please. Well, that is a positive sign. One of the people who posted that video loved my comment. I had to actually look at the reactions to see that she loved my comment though. I wish it would say they liked, loved, reacted angry, reacted whatever to your comment versus just so and so reacted to your comment. That tells me a lot. Okay well there's two people involved in that little content creation um, channel that I commented on earlier and I don't know if one of them saw it the other one did and she loved my comment and she wrote back and said well I'm sorry you didn't get anything out of it here's what we were celebrating so I'm hoping she'll go back to her wife and say you know, when we make these videos that just have pictures, we gotta talk because there's some people that literally can't look at the look at the pictures. I mean, if she doesn't, or if if she does, and the other person involved doesn't do that, I'm liable to say something again. Um, 
you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And yeah, you just got to advocate for what you need, I guess. So I think that was a win, though. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure how to expect them to respond, and they responded favorably. So at least the one who saw that comment did. And I'm sure the other one would have responded favorably if she would have seen it. I hope, like I said, I hope either she does see it or her partner shows it to her. Because honestly, she's the one that I need to, I need I feel like she's the one that, well, she's the one that has done this before. Put these videos up. Beautiful picture, beautiful font, I'm sure. Just wonderful, looking great. Music behind it. And totally useless to a blind person. And yes, there is Ira now. I can't stop talking about Ira. So, if I wanted to, I could call Ira and say, watch this video with me. I'm going to open Team Viewer or Quick Assist, watch this video with me, or I'm going to put my camera close to my screen. Let me know if you can see this video. I need you to tell me what this video says. But if the people creating them would open their mouth and speak, I wouldn't have to, is the point I'm trying to make. Ira's wonderful, but... Inclusivity, where everyone from the person who's watching with their ear eyes to the person who's watching with their eye eyes can get something out of it, is even better. You know, it's Sunday now, and I created the first little snippet of audio on Tuesday. So it has been five days um, since I started this, so I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going to wrap it up by completing this, uh, uh, you know, this situation was completed in life a little while ago, and I'm going to tell you about it. Um, so the person that I actually wanted to see that comment, either her partner showed it to her or she saw it herself, and she actually did respond in a favorable way. She said, you know what, I'm really sorry. I just do not think about people like you when I put these videos up. I just throw them up without even thinking about that. I <laughs> I forget what else she said, but I appreciate it. And then she told me what it was that we were, we were congratulating them for. And I was able to write a more like heartfelt uh, comment. And I also used that opportunity to remind her that, you know, I, I said, thank you for being receptive to my constructive criticism. And I hope that in the video that I know is coming up in the future, you will actually say the words and not just flash them on the screen. Because I'm thinking about a very particular video. She has done these videos before. I think I may have said this yesterday. She's done one or two videos like this. Uh, in the past and she never once spoke a word during it and I'm hoping she will this time and if she doesn't I may have to just gently remind her drop a comment on that video uh, solely auditory viewers uh, can you can you uh, drop it in the comments for us or maybe put a a redo of that video up where you actually say it. <laughs> but hopefully I won't have to because hopefully just when she's ready to post that video that has no words, she'll it'll occur to her, oh wait a minute, that's not going to help some people. So, thank you for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.